Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if File Explorer will not open on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to tap the Control Alt Delete keys on your keyboard at the same time. So again, the Control Alt Delete, and then you want to select the Task Manager. So go ahead and left click on that. You want to select the File tab and then select Run New Task. Type in Explorer and then select OK. You can minimize or close out a File Explorer. And then you want to right click on Windows Explorer under Apps and select Restart. And give it a moment here. And then hopefully that should have been able to resolve the issue. You can also open up the search menu, type in File Explorer Options. Best match should come back with File Explorer Options. Go ahead and select File Explorer Options. Underneath the General tab, select the Restore Defaults button at the bottom. Now go to the View tab and select Restore Defaults as well as Reset Folders. And then select Yes if you want to reset all folders of this type to the default view setting. Select Yes. And then go underneath Search and you want to restore defaults right here as well. Select Apply and OK. Now that you've done that, open up the Search menu. Type in CMD, Best Match, or come back with Command Prompt. Right click on it and select Run as Administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, you want to select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, go ahead and type in SFC, followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here, and then restart your computer. And then hopefully at this point you should be good to go. So there you go guys, pretty straightforward tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.